Hey everyone, my name is Britt. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and today we're going to talk about the basics of composting. Let's talk composting. Okay, first of all, why? Why compost? Basically, to help save the planet is the answer. So the reason that we're dropping this video, whether you're watching it in April or not, in April is because April is Earth month and composting is good for the earth. So food that you don't compost ends up in a landfill. And in fact, the USDA has said that the um, largest category of waste in landfills is food waste. Landfills themselves are methane emitters. And if you didn't know, methane is something called a greenhouse gas. And greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere, which isn't a bad thing until there's too much heat. And then that causes global warming, warming <clears throat> or climate change. So one way that we can very easily mitigate that is to compost our food waste. So how do you do that? So you're gonna need four main ingredients to compost, okay? So the first two are chemical elements. You're gonna need carbon and nitrogen. And you can get those elements from like basic things, right? So the carbon you can get from like dead plants, okay? So like dead leaves, dead grass, woody stems, stuff like that, that's gonna give you your carbon. Your nitrogen, that comes from your food waste. So you want about a 30 carbon to one nitrogen ratio, especially when you're getting started. Um, along with that, you're gonna want some air, right? Also made up of chemical elements and water also made up of chemical elements, right? So um, in terms of the amount of water, you want your compost when you're starting off just to be kind of damp, just a little moist. So you don't want it like dripping, you know, you don't want it like, you don't want like a sea of water. You just want it to be a little damp. So you're gonna combine those four things, your 30 parts carbon, again, that's your dead plants, your one part food waste, air and water, and you're gonna put it into some sort of container. So let's talk a little bit about what you put in your compost pile. I put pretty much most food items in there. Um, the only ones I don't put in there are like an avocado pit, um, just because that is gonna take forever to break down. Same thing with citrus peels. Um, I also, if you live in Colorado or an area near um, a lot of wildlife, I would not put any meat in there as that can definitely um, attract animals to your home. And that's, like I said earlier, that's another reason that you definitely want a lid on your compost pile. So those are just all a few things to keep in mind. But the most important thing to keep in mind is that composting is easy and it saves the planet. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you want more, check out some of our other teen tech or teen um, videos in our um, playlist on PPLD TV.